Welcome one and all, this is the Peace Dealer, and uh, it's time, it is time, <clears throat> I waited freaking 26 years to unleash this goddamn thing, and it's finally time, yes, it is time to do what you have been destined to do for ages now, you see this couldn't happen before, because certain archangels up in heaven feel like they don't have to listen to God. I don't know if you know people, but there is this like really stupid beef happening between angels and archangels. All right, Virgo and Libra are quarreling and it's fucking everything up. It's fucking everything up. You know why? Because God is a party animal. Goddess is the people who you call God is goddess, really. The, the, the whole image of this omniscient being that puts everything in order, it's goddess. The creator of this motherfucker is partying since ancient time. This motherfucker, this motherfucker, excuse my language, but really think about that, has been partying for ages, all right? And every now and then, every 100,000 years when there's certain realignments, the angels will go and be like, hey God, do you wanna be active in your creation? And God is like, uh, fam, do you see me partying right now? I'm like, I, I'm, I created this so I can experience joy in hell for eternity. That's God, Sagittarius, joy, okay? Get with it or get lost, because I'm speaking to some of you, all right? I'm. Some of you are not getting this, and if you don't get what I'm saying, stop the video right now, because if you do this ritual, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin your life. If you get what I'm saying, if you like resonate with what I'm saying at a very deep level, my friend, get ready, because we're going to, we're going to bring God out of the party, trust me. And once God gets involved, there's going to be so much light and joy, but he's been in the underworld partying for ages, all right? In fact, the whole notion of him starting party, I don't believe it. So let me tell you why the angels are beefing. Because God, God created the angels to help goddess oversee his creation. Trust me when I say God is like a party animal. All he does is get faced. But he's God, so he doesn't get drunk. And it's like he's on a dance floor with Dionysus, the god of wine and, and joy, like drinking exclusive liquors. The dude is a savage. The, the, this being is a savage. Like, I don't know how else to tell you because this is unlike anything you've ever been taught. But it is what it is. Angels follow God very faithfully. Angels don't necessarily agree with God's whatever, but they will follow. And that's Virgo. They're faithful. They don't care. It's an order from God. Libra is now a little bit more conscientious of their power. And they're like, you know what? Screw this. I don't know what happened. Like, there's a divide in Archangels. Not every Libra is like this. There's some Archangels who are more Virgo-centric. They, they follow with duty, all right? And then there's some Archangels who are like, you know what? Why do we have to serve these humans? Angels serve humans. Archangels serve higher beings, all right? Uh, in case some of you have forgotten, you're not human. Like, you're gods or goddesses. Me, the peace healer, I'm a human. I'm proud of that. I represent that. The reason why I'm here is because these people want to extinct and make slave populations of humans. And I'm one of the humans that are having to put the gods and goddesses in check. That's why I have a Capricorn moon. It's like, uh, uh nope, nope, nope. We're all connected. Forget the superiority thing. A human is the small expression of you, but we're still you, okay? In human form, all right? Just like you have ice, water, and gas. You don't see the ice being like, oh, well, I'm superior to water because we're ice. No, no, no. I'm very pissed off. I'm very pissed off because this brings up ancient angst, but it's all good. I don't want to lose too many of you, all right? So... The beef we have in heaven are from arrogant, stupid archangels who are very intelligent, um, which makes things very... <laughs> Look, I pulled the forgiveness card. Fuck y'all. I'm not forgiving some of y'all. Look, there are archangels who feel like we need to worship them and they will not serve us. They will not help us get with the people we have to get with. They're getting in our way, all right? There's some beings that want us gone. And the battle is between good and bad beings versus good and bad beings. Don't ever believe it's some good versus bad BS, all right? So 
This 33-day ritual I invite you to do with this new moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is all about timing. Trust me, it's, t it's time. That's all I'm going to say. It's finally time. Whatever it is in your life that you have been wanting to manifest the totality, think about what you want and ask yourself why you want it. Because the true understanding and meaning of what you're truly trying to manifest in this is manifesting in all its full power and knowledge and glory. And guess what? There's nothing you can do to stop this. So that's why I invite you to join in on this 33-day ritual that will align your energies. I had to give you the spiel in the beginning because you have to understand not every positive force is good. Not every being that shows itself as an angel is good, okay? If you don't get this, this will screw you up. Think about all these people who are sharing these messages. I saw an alien. I saw a being, and it told me this. And yeah, you did see that being, but do you have discernment, bro? Do you know that you're being used like a puppet? All right? You better reclaim the spiritual authority, people. I'm saying this with love because moving forward, your shit will get wrecked. Are you praying to, like, random beings? Let me set you straight. 33-day ritual. What you're going to do is align your Reiki energy. Stop going to these people who make you feel like you have to pay money so that you can get attuned in Reiki vibrations. You can go to legit people, but hey, universal energy is free. It's free. You don't have to pay anybody for shit. You honestly you shouldn't even pay anybody for a Reiki healing. This is something that comes free. I don't charge to heal people. You, you, you go get this healing, okay? So let me teach you how to do it yourself. So these frauds, <laughs> try to get your money? No. Um, you're going to channel. This is how you start the ritual. The first part of this ritual, which will establish your energy centers. We're all healing beings, but you know what we don't do? We're conditioned to take pharmaceutical drugs. We're conditioned to not believe in our power. I healed myself with a sinus, uh, not sinus, an allergic uh, uh, allergy. So nobody can tell me crap because I'm not even like that good of a healer. And so many of y'all are better than me. So you can heal yourself. You know why you don't? Because you don't literally believe. Some of you do. Some of you are ahead of the game. Holler. Holler at your boy. What's good? So you're going to recirculate this energy. How many of you consciously heal yourself? You do it subconsciously. How many of you consciously stop, take time to flow energy through your energy body? Once you do this for 33 days, this is going to flow. And that's all you have to do. Commit to 33 days. If you miss one day, you have to start all over because it has to be consecutive day and night. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to channel white light from the universe. Feel it nourishing your cells and let it meet at the Tantian right here. And then you're going to draw energy up from the earth and let it circulate here. All right. Let this let this just kind of chill there. And then you put your hands on your heart. You want to put your hands directly on your heart. Let the skin touch and channel healing energy from your hands into your heart. You want to do this for five minutes, day and night. I'm doing this for you guys because as soon as I upload this video, I'm getting spiritually attacked. I'm not supposed to tell you this. You can think I'm a conspiracy theorist. Don't give a damn. I'm doing this because it's time. There's been so much in the works. There are archangels who want to strip you of your power. There are archangels who want to help you regain your power. So when you think of classes of people, know that it's not this class versus this class. It's people in the same class. It's a civil war and a world war at the same time, okay? You, what you're doing, once you heal yourself, you're protecting your energies. This is the main part of the ritual. You are now, I'm going to teach you how to pray the right way because some of you are not praying right. Some of you are praying to entities who are fucking you over and you're wondering why your prayers are answered. You're now going to realign with your true spirit gods. This is prayer. It's divine intercession. You talk to angels so that they can take your intentions and work on it in the spiritual while you focus on it in the physical. So some of you, if you know your astrology chart, if you don't, holler at me because I will let you know, oh, you need to be talking to Venus. Venus manifests stuff for you. Sometimes you don't know Saturn manifests stuff for you and you talk to Venus and Venus is like, can't help you. You got to talk to Saturn. Saturn wants to make you work. You know what I'm saying? In, and Santa will just cut you off because you don't acknowledge them. Um, but it is what it is. What you're going to do after <laughs> you um, heal yourself and prepare. Yes. I just pulled the miracles 
and blessings card because what's going to happen for some of you is your life is going to change the reason why i waited till this capricorn new moon is because it's time do you hear me because i'm saying i'm saying things on layers it's time if you truly know what time is then this is the new moon you've been waiting for your entire life okay i didn't even know but i knew it's weird so check this out my friends because you're going to now invoke in cosmic command. If your sun is in Scorpio to Pisces, you make these energies your bitch. Trust me, I'm a Gemini, I can't. As soon as I start commanding like Neptune and Saturn, they catch an attitude quick. They're like, boy, you're just a messenger. You're not an Aquarius. You're not a Pisces, you're not a Sagittarius. You don't talk to me like that. So if you're a Scorpio, um, to Pisces, if you're if you're uh, Aries to a Libra, you just talk to them. Talk to them like a confidant. They're gonna help you like a liaison. If you're a Scorpio to a Pisces, you don't command them like a general. You're making these energies your bitch. Your bitch. You control and command them like um. It's 5:45 Saturn. You're talking to Saturn. It's 5:45 Venus and Saturn. Um, where's what I asked for? Hmm. Hmm? You must be assertive. They're going to test you with this too, so that you can see with your consciousness, you command these energies. Me, I'm going to come more humbly and be like, hey, Venus, I'm trying to connect with this beautiful woman. Uh, but, you know, the communication isn't that well. Thankfully, I'm ruled by Venus in the 12th house. So what do I have to do? Have faith and know it's working. You're going to invoke the planets. You're going to invoke angels, archangels, deities, imaginary friends ancestors your ancestors directly work to you first and then they intercede with the angels some of you are angels some of you directly connect contact with angels some of you have personal powerful guys and goddesses who walk by your side you're going to realize this through this ritual all right this is going to quantum shift even the people watching this video are meant to watch this and it's going to activate a critical mass i'm speaking that right now this is it guys take this seriously if there's anything you have to take seriously it's this make sure you do this like your life depends on it every day and night you're going to heal yourself for five minutes or more at least five minutes day and night and then you're going to invoke these energies i'm going to do this for you right now I invoke Venus, I invoke Saturn, I invoke Uranus, I invoke Neptune. I'm going to chill with the other planets. If you want to invoke however much you want, I invoke Archangel Sandalphon to sit with me right now, and I'm engaging with their frequencies. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand the universe, frequencies and vibrations, people. The man was a cancer. He knows what he's talking about. High priest right there. So you have to make mind over matter and forget what you've been taught because you've been lied to if you haven't understood already. If you want to listen to this fake ass system that's trying to blind you, I love you people. Like I'm going to die, fight tooth and nail to awaken my people. Let my people go. I'm the reincarnation of Moses, in case you didn't know. I got Archangel Michael. I fuck with Lucifer, too, a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit of secret right there. But you know what I'm saying? A lot of these beings are, are just revealing themselves. So it is what it is. You're going to feel drawn to certain entities and energies. That's who you want to talk to. You're, as you establish the connection every day, day and night, 33 days, it'll come to a time where you're so connected. The key is conscious intent. Because if you go about your day doing so much and you don't do that, you're not connected spiritually and you're going to see every single day. You could do this numerologically too. You'll know that the third day, the three numerology will happen. The seven day may be a day of revelation. So pay attention, guys. I have to go back to another reading right now, but I wanted to make this. I'm going live on Astrolata's channel tonight, and I'm going to talk more about this ritual as well. So hit me up on Magic Mike on her page in about an hour. But yeah, it's going down. Um, you guys can start this ritual tonight or tomorrow when the new moon is exact. I started it this morning because I missed a few days, but I wanted to start with the new moon because that's when you start things. And congratulations. If you're seeing this video, then you're, you're a chosen one. You're, you're worthy. You're ready. And share this video to someone you love who is ready because this, this ritual, by 30, guarantee you, by the end of 33 days, you have reclaimed so much power. You'll be thinking about something and it manifests because you have established and worked. You have devoted time to connect with these energies and they appreciate it. They don't like when you think that they'll just do things for you because you want it. You have to speak to them, which acknowledges that you believe they exist and they love that more than anything because now you're a cosmic commander.
Peace, my friends.